All right, hi everyone. What's up? How you doing? Welcome. Hope you're having a good day. Hi, hi. Hope you're doing good. Um, back to back to ninety any percent silly challenge funny thingy thing thing. You know what we've been doing the last like while I guess. Um, yesterday I was like really tired and exhausted, so no last stream. I just did a bit too more of Mario Galaxy, which was chill. Which I have like twenty stars left in now, which we might finish that today or tomorrow or some other time. I know. Ah, alert. You to follow. Um, also, Aurora, I agree. Thank you for the, the 19 months of what the heck, that's such a long time. You've been here for that long. Wow, time is like actually go fast. <laughs> Truly finishing 6A. Okay, so I feel like there's a chance I get zero rooms of progress, and there's a chance that I just beat it. And I believe either one, honestly, and like anything in between. <laughs> the, yeah, um, anyway. But yeah, we're starting with 90 because I died at the end of the last stream. I died to the second last room of 6A Balin. Like the vertical room where you go downwards. Uh, so we stream, I guess so. A tiny bit, like 20 minutes earlier, but not uh, that much. Um, we can GTM real quick, right? Nano. Red Templish. Hmm, I don't think I know this. I probably don't know this. It's, it's not one of the nano hack sites, is it? I doubt I doubt it is. Otherwise nano's name wouldn't be there like that, I think. It's part of like something else. But this is like a hal okay. It looks like No. I just it looks somewhat familiar, but not really. <laughs> I don't know. Um Hmm. EP? Yeah, I'm going to be EP again. Deal with it. <laughs> Deal with it. <laughs> um. Sure, I, we've run out of complete maps that have tempo in it, right? We've done, like, everything that has tempo in their name, I think, at this point. That could feasibly be the thing. Yeah. I know what map that is, that isn't it. I don't think I know this. I think it's. I think I don't have a chance here. I think I've seen Carry play this out of all, like out of all places I've seen this. I think I think I've seen Carry play this at some point, but that's a double jump. Hmm. Is it maybe like a birthday thing? I don't know. Probably unlikely. And like three, I think I don't know. Um, truly, I will randomly guess the last attempt again. Yeah, I don't think so. Hi, Simon. Hi, hi. How are you doing? Yeah, I doubt I'm getting this. <laughs> I d I doubt I'm getting this. Seeker with a big eye. Big eye seeker. Actually, I'm not even sure I've seen this at this point. January 2022. A while ago, I was doing uh 60. I just finished 60 probably. I might have started D1 D7 around that time. I might have been starting D1 D7 around that time. Um. Wah, Seeker? Did I even try Seeker? Oh. Hi. No, mm -mm. Sorry. Uh, Diamond. No. Mirror. No. <laughs> mm -hmm. Hi, Corinne. Yeah, I don't think this is happening. I'm pretty sure this is not one of the nano like what what was nano I don't nano hex was not it was like it's like older. Anyway, so it can't even be that. I don't I don't know what it arrow. Double jump. Yeah. Uh, I have already think I already typed that. 
Well, I just looked to Temple of Two, and I'm pretty sure I know what that map is as well. That's not it. I know that's. I'm pretty sure I know what that is. I think that one's also already been, but I'm not even sure. It is a nano map, but I don't think I know it. Uh, I'm not too familiar with nano maps. Like, uh, if you type in nano, it's just like Hexide's birthday special. I think that's it, right? Alice Grace of Birthdays, but yeah. What's like a nano map name? I don't know even. <laughs> I don't even know what it would be nano map name. Four. That'd be a nano. I don't know. Hmm. Ruin. Okay, well, that was my best guess. <laughs> Ruin of Rakuma was my best guess I was gonna get. It's just Void. It's just called Void. I don't think I would have guessed that. I would have not guessed this map name would have been Void. Actually, I actually think I know which map Ruin of Rakuma is. I think she, I'm pretty sure I played that. Void. It's just Void. Wow, this was the title. Wow. <laughs> wow. Remove the map name. <laughs> okay. Well, good try. Kinda. She did not get away with this. Not today, at least, I suppose. Anyway. So last time? So, la so, so, so last time? Celeste? I would never Celeste, would I? I would definitely Celeste. We're gonna Celeste. Where's Music B? Music B is not on the scene. I should fix that, actually. There you go. Surely I wouldn't trust. Spa Spamton. Alright. What are we at? Time wise. 404. Four oh Basically 404. Four oh Celeste? Are you okay? Wait, OBS, are you okay, actually? OBS are you okay? OBS is not okay. Okay, gotcha. So, OBS are you okay now? Wait. Hey, thank you. Too long enough. All right. Uh, no, we won't hit 50k today unless I do labbing. Actually, then there's then I will probably. That is correct. I, th I don't have to check settings. I'm pretty sure everything is the same as last time. We just can just jump into this. I'm pretty sure. Yeah, I need to start with 90 today. I died at the end of the last stream, so um. I mean, most of these streams have been starting with 90, to be fair. That's been like 80% of them, I think. Yeah, that's happened like, I mean, the very first day I played. And that one time I did the offline load up, and I think that was one other time. It's either two or three times that has happened. But I feel like that was another time though. But maybe I'm misremembering. I may very well be. Also, is music be volume different than normal, or is it just me that it feels louder? You sure it's not louder, right? Not in Music B. Neither in OBS. I'm pretty sure. Just okay, that's just me then. That's the answer because college damn, unfortunately. <laughs> Sorry to all people who like can never see the 80% because it takes too long. <laughs> 
Well, I started to stream a bit earlier today, so there's a bit better of a chance. But still. But that's fair, Bojo. This is Dark Moon Harder. Clear or Golden Wise? So that's different. To clear? I think Dark Moon Runes is harder to clear. This would probably still take longer, but that's just because the map is long. In terms of difficulty, Dark Moon is harder to clear. In terms of doing it deathless, this is definitely harder. To do deathless than Demar. Because it's longer. Just clear. Okay, Dark Moon is harder to clear. Yeah. But it might be less time consuming. Uh, because it's a lot shorter. It's not easy. Great, I don't wanna hyper there probably. I have stuff thank you. The summon part nanny, yo, nice! You got through the you got through the hardest to get through part of the map. From now from now from now you can Probably have an easier time and more enjoyable time for some people. I, I feel like most people that reach uh, revisit play the map. I think most people that quit 90 quit before they get to revisit, like 95% of them. Pirate Invasion. Second GM I've ever. What was the first one you've ever done? DMR just kind of just keep going up in difficulty. Though the difficulty gap between checkpoint 4 and 5 is pretty large. And there's another difficulty gap between like 5 and 6, though that one's definitely smaller. Great streamer, yeah? Uh, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, Coral, you're right. In terms of streams, it's not the most interesting thing. It's a funny for a video. In terms of streams, <gasps> Invictus credits. Um, cause it's just 90 low death runs, which like generally won't become much interesting. Cause like my focus with these runs aren't that great compared to off streams. So the chance of me low death PPing with one of these is very small. Cause it's just a very casual low focus run. So something exciting happening is not like super likely compared to it just being a casual run through the map over and over and over. Uh, it is like decently good practice for me though. Like long term it is good practice because like I actually play every part of the map and I discover which parts are like flawed strats wise and which parts I need to practice more. And which parts need better strats and etc etc. So yeah, I agree. But um, it will make for a funny video and it will be useful for me in terms of getting better at the map. So we got that going for us, I guess. Oh yeah, Step, I saw I heard about your run on CPPL. Nice, that was like really good. Yeah, this, 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 I feel like this has the potential to be a really interesting, funny video. Which I am excited for that. And hopefully... That isn't too far away, depending how Summit goes. I'm kind of scared of Summit, but... Yeah, no. Hopefully that should be fine. You know, another thing that made that this made me realize is that, like, since now I've done a bunch of low defrons off stream and a bunch of low defrons on stream, and I've noticed that the average for an off-stream low def 90 run is about 2 hours and 20 minutes. Uh, and the average for an on-stream run seems to be about 2 hours and 50 minutes consistently. Both those numbers seem pretty consistent and pretty close. Pre like, yeah. So that means that simply just streaming adds like 30 minutes to the run. Like, the DEFCON isn't even that much higher. I mean, it's like a decent bit higher because like 
a lot of info focus that, but the devs don't add that much playtime, right? Because it's often short rooms. Most of that time is literally just like stopping to read chat, interacting with chats, playing slower because I'm talking to chat, tabbing out to do the song request, tabbing out to show a spreadsheet or a video. All of that adds up to like 30 minutes over the entire run, which is actually insane. I didn't think it would be that much. <laughs> like, I didn't realize how much slower things are on stream. Which also, in of itself, made me feel better about a lot of my clear times. Because, like, if over a 2 hour 20 period, there is 30 minutes of just being slower just because I'm streaming, it's very interesting. And this isn't even taken into account that, like, because uh, with Goldens, like, in this, I have a lot more depths. Because my offline run has been, like, you know, 20 to 12. On, on stream, they're often more high 20s and low 30s. I die a lot more because I'm like not as focused. I like have half my focus on chat, at least. Uh, but like you know, when with room clears, that doesn't add that much time. But with goldens, that's a way different story. Like all the extra golden deaths that happen just because I'm focused on chat, those can add like minutes per death, right? So that would be a lot more than just 30 minutes every two hour twenty. Then I guess the other thing as well. Is that if I were to play offline, I wouldn't play like four hour sessions. Like on stream, I just play four hour sessions because that's how long I stream for. But I can't actually focus properly for four hours straight. You know, so I'm gonna run out of focus and start playing a lot worse, but I just keep going because, like, you know, I enjoy streaming. That's just what I do. If I were to play online, I would not force myself to play that long sessions where I'm not playing well anymore. I would just, like, stop, you know. Good death! Um, I didn't mean to fish boost that. I love fish boost leniency. So like this made me realize like how, like how much more time am I like you know my clear times are so inflated just because I'm streaming like just streaming stuff makes me take so much longer and things because of like you know simply just streaming in the first place apparently adds a lot in terms of like interacting with chat adds like a lot and then also like in focus steps playing longer sessions than I can actually like play properly for. And now feel, I feel a bit less bad about certain things I've taken a long time on, because I'm like... Yeah. So now I am curious that... I kind of want to now, like, try a hard golden off stream sometime. And see how well that goes. Just out of curiosity, like, how well would I do? I mean, I've done it with hard map clears before. Because a lot of, like, my best clear times on hardless maps are maps I did off stream, like CMGV, Mon B. Whatever else I don't remember. Um, but I'm curious how it will go with like a golden. Like how much time would it save to just if I wouldn't stream it? Not that it means I would stop streaming hard golden. It's like I love streaming. Like that ruins the point. Like the point for me isn't to get a hard golden. I care more about having fun in streaming, right? So like, I would never prefer doing a golden off stream so I can get it faster compared to doing it on stream but having a lot more fun. I would always rather do it on stream and have fun even if that adds like 20 hours or more. But out of curiosity, I would be, I would want to, I would, I, I would be interested in knowing. I've never really done a hard golden off stream before, only like players. Shadow grind? Maybe, who knows? <laughs> probably. I probably wouldn't tell anyone. Or it probably wouldn't tell many people about what it would be. I mean, yeah, in, in an actual run, like I wouldn't like do these things where I just stop to reach out for a second, you know. I also just like play slower, because like uh, I spend a lot of time thinking about what I'm saying, like, right now. And often it results in me just, like, you know, spending, like, five extra neutrals before going to the next part. Instead of just going immediately. Because I'm, like, I'm, like, half trying to form a sentence and half trying to play the game. Which makes me just play the game slower. Like, now I'm just, like, very carefully walking to the gap instead of just going for it. That also adds up, plus the actual stopping to reach out and everything else. Like, apparently that adds up to 30 minutes over, like, a 2 hour 20 run, which is actually wild. Like, I really would not have expected it to be that much. I 
And again, for Golden that would be even worse, because, you know, you have the deaths that are a lot more costly than in a clear. I don't know if someone can calculate the, like, percentage number for, like, that. I can't do this maps in my head, though. Like, how much percentage, like, how much percent does it take longer doing an on stream when it goes from 220 to 250? Already doing one? I'm not already doing one. I don't have to, I don't have the time right now to do that. I think of the funniest going to chat. I have something in mind that I've been wanting to do for a long time. But never got around to. That I think would be a perfect fit for this off stream thing, but I just don't have the time to do an off stream hard golden. Not at the moment, at least. Twenty percent. That's like a big number. Yeah, so on average, just simply playing on street, just like simply interacting with chat adds like. 20% of playtime during with clears at least with golden it would be more but looks like such a g 21 yeah wait is that an actual number that seems way too precise to be an actual number <laughs> wait that seems way too precise anyway it's around 20 probably from what i've gotten vanilla contest a rainbow I don't know. If I enjoy it a lot, I might. Dang it. <laughs> Wait, actually, I'm curious. Uh, actually, my 70 golden would be a good comparison. Because my 70 golden is kind of funny. Because, like, in a 27 minute run, there's 5 minutes of just talking to chat. <laughs> in my 70 golden. There's literally just 5 full minutes in just my 70 golden clip where I stop to, like, talk to chat. It is the action number. Yo, TNT, thank you for the rate. I appreciate it. Hope your stream was good though. Sauce bingo, yo bingo base. Bingo is a lot of fun. Anyway, that's also part of the reason why I should really never care about my own clear times because they're not representable for me at all. Anytime I like catch myself caring about clear times, I'm like, no, bad, card stop. I'm like, it's not even fair because I, 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 I always known that my streaming adds more time. I didn't realize how much though. This has kind of put in perspective that it's actually even more than I thought it was. This is also why I really hate when people try to compare to my clear times. I'm like, bro.
Because I, I, I have unironically seen like some people before like I, uh, go like, Oh, I entered this room in this map at this many hours. Meanwhile, Parrot in his video entered at this at like less, at like more hours. Oh my god, I'm so good. I'm like better than Parrot. I'm like, <laughs> I'm like, good job. You want a cookie? Yay. Ooh, yeah. Yep. Good job. Um, yep. Definitely. Yep. It's bad on many levels. Comparing in the first place is bad. But I'll, like, don't, I don't want people to compare to me like that. Like, first of all, it's not good for your own mentality even comparing in the first place. But also, like, my times are not at all representable. Like, I don't try to do things fast. I enjoy playing the game and streaming, and I, I, just, I just do it for fun. And like, I spend a lot of time just talking to chat, which has become pretty apparent. <laughs> Cookie redeem. Uh, is this the... This is the cycle room, okay. I've also seen like places where people are like, oh, Parrot is like good, but he isn't like that good. He isn't like one of the best. He takes so long in these things. Like, how, how is so how is someone this good spend so long in things? And like, I don't try to do things fast. <laughs> if I tried to do things fast, I wouldn't stream it. Things I don't care. I just care about enjoying playing the game. I like streaming, okay? Oh, that's a nice song, you guys. Wait, where is it in the playlist? And I don't really care about these people's opinions and what they think about how good I am. Like I'm like I don't care. Like I I'm I'm not never claimed to be one of the best. I don't know I am not gonna be one of like I know I'm not gonna be the best, you know. I don't really care about being the best. I just care about doing cool things and having fun. So, like I really cannot be bothered with some people like in places say about me, but you know, it's like really Hi, Alton. Tell me someone who's considered best? Not really. Like, depends what you're looking at as well, because there's like different skill sets and things. Because, like, speed run, you can't compare speed runners to like goldeners, for example. I think, in general, with like golding people, like, I often talk about Nins and Clantas being some of the best Daphnis players, which they definitely are. But there's really no like best player. And like, if you're gonna try to talk about a best player, using clear times is not the way to go. <laughs> like, try, like clear times are not a good representation of someone's skill. Like, a lot of people seem to be think seem to think that for some reason that like clear time means everything. Clear time is like, you know, whoever clears it the fastest is about like that's not how it works. That's really just not. That's just not no. Clear time is really not a meaningful stat. It's a neat stat to, to look at like your own improvement and just just to have I guess But like to use it as a measurement of skills not ever good or accurate like don't do that. It doesn't make any sense I know Minato true <laughs> Like yeah, okay best is kind of like some people have different definition of best like what well, is it the person that like is improving the fastest that has done the, the, the current hardest thing is the has done the most hard things? Is the person with the most diverse skill set that is good at the most amount of different things? Like, wh wh what is the what is wh what is the best mean? It can mean so many different things. Uh, 
I also think that, like, my longer clay times is, like, something I'm proud of sometimes, because it just shows, like, uh, determination, like, what's the other word? Whatever, the thing is that, like, 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 I don't give up on things, you know? I think that's one of my strongest points, is, like, I just, like, commit to doing something, and I'll finish it. It doesn't matter how long it takes. I don't even really ever get frustrated, I just, like, keep going. I just don't, stop, like, I don't give up on something. My perseverance, that's the word. Yeah, my perseverance is very strong, which I think I've some is something I've proved like many times over at this point. I mean, in speedruns, <laughs> in speedruns, clear time. Yeah, okay, but like, I guess in speedruns, clear times would be more like, oh, this person spent a hundred hours to get this time, while the other person spent a thousand hours to get this time. So the person with a hundred time, a hundred hours is better, which. I guess some people think like that. Some people think that it's like, oh, this person spent only a hundred hours to get a sub thirty, and this other person spent like five hundred hours to get a sub thirty. That means this other person is much better, even though they did the same thing in the end. They both got a sub thirty, the same achievement. And like, people might take longer or faster depending on like their playstyle. You know, some people might like are fast learners and just like grind a lot and just try to be efficient with their time as possible and try to like practice the most efficient way possible and other people just take a chill and have fun they're like okay i'm just gonna practice a bit of this today while talking to chad and then half the time they're just pause chatting and it's like yeah i mean that's also a way to do it so comparing those two wouldn't make sense because this one person is like practicing as efficient as possible and this other person is just taking a chill and just taking their time on things and learning new things and talking to people and so like being like oh this yeah. person is better because they learned it faster doesn't make sense. Okay, I'm just good. Yeah. You want to train instinct for 100 bits? <laughs> stubbornness. Oh, yeah, my stubbornness is. Oh, yeah, I'm very stubborn. <laughs> I'm very stubborn. That's definitely a big part of it. But you know, something like 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 perseverance, I think, can also be more important sometimes. Because like, if you if you, if you if you have someone that's like really skilled that can beat things really fast, but like, they get demotivated after like a couple hours they just attempt something they make good progress but then they just get demotivated or frustrated and they quit and then they just keep doing that until they randomly do fit in something compared to someone that's like commits to something and they might spend like 10 times longer but they will actually finish it so like in the end what's the more useful skill there then you know like what the, 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 the other person that cleared it they did it that they did the thing the other person just gave up because they lost motivation and like they didn't feel like doing it anymore. They got frustrated. So like a lot of people care a lot more about this other thing. They're like, oh, they did this thing in, like so fast. They did it in like ten hours. Most likely, take like fifty. Meanwhile, the person quit like five other grinds because they just got bored or demotivated. And this other person just finishes everything they start, but they're like, oh, they took like a hundred hours. They're like, oh, that's pretty average. Like. Uh, that's it also that's also in its per perspective I feel like the thing like you know different place styles, different skills different whatever also I'm not talking about anyone in specific here this is just completely uh, made up examples like I'm not don't, don't try to seek for any meaning behind what I'm saying I'm not talking about specific players here I'm just like making shit up by the way I'm not calling anyone out. They're hollow silver, yo. Last three, that's pretty good, nice. Hard work, talent. Yeah, I feel, I feel like, 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 I, 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 like, I have a lot more respect, and I think it's a lot more, a lot cooler 
when people like show a lot of hard work and dedication towards finishing something then someone just finishing it in like like you know jojo playing uh 2k3 in 150 hours they spent like 140 hours on just 2k3 i like that is still the most impressive 2k3 player to me like people have done 2k3 in like five hours but i'm like I'm like yeah that's impressive and a lot of people would maybe call that like wow they're so good they're like they're, they're like the best too but to me it's like Okay, well, that's neat. You're just like good and talented at this specific thing. And you got it fast, you maybe got lucky. You know, this other person showed a lot of hard work in just grinding this for like 140 hours, never giving up, and like actually finishing it. And I'm like, I have so much more respect for that. But the other thing is still impressive, and people that are like talented are still like really good. I think that's still really cool that someone can like do such difficult things so fast. But personally, I think it's a, like, a lot cooler when people show like insane determination and perseverance on something than like insane talent. Hence why the person I look up most is like Change on Braden, with spending like over 5,000 hours on like one Mario Maker level. I think that's the coolest thing ever. They can <laughs> Secret talent of mine, apparently, yeah. Oh, I, I even did, like, a correction tab. I don't know. I needed a speech of thanks. You're welcome. <laughs> yeah, I feel like more people need to hear that sometimes. Because I see a lot of people being like, ah, I'm not that good. I spent so many hours on this thing. And I'm like, what do you mean? That's like, like, that's like really good. You beat the thing. You still did the thing. It doesn't matter how long you took, you, you did the thing. And the fact that you spent so long just like shows like how like, Determine of a person you are, and I think that's really cool. Like, it doesn't matter if someone else did it like 10 times faster. Like, you still did the same, you still did the thing, you should still be proud. I see way too many people that are like, ah, yeah, I maybe beat this thing, but I spent such a long time. Oh my god. Duh. Fair becomes motivational speaking. Yeah, that exactly. That's what I was talking about earlier. That I think, I think someone showing insane perseverance is a lot, a lot cooler, more respectful than someone just being very talented. Like it's still impressive. Like someone being talented is still impressive and cool that they, they can do such difficult things fast. But like, I think that someone showing like a lot of determination, and perseverance is like much cooler in my eyes. I respect that a lot more. I think that's a lot more impressive.
yeah, comparing yourself to other people is never a really good idea. Only, like, compare to your past self. That's what I always say. Like, look at how far you've come compared to where you started. You know, I, I, I look back and see that I spent, like, 140 hours in Fargo Gold. And now I can do tier 3s in, like, under 20 hours. And I'm like, damn. That's so cool. <laughs> like, that's good comparisons. Because it's like, hell yeah. Look at how much I improved. Look how far I've come from, like, when I started. But comparing to other people is never really a good idea. And I know it's like easier said than done. It's very easy to like accidentally fall into that trap and subconsciously start doing that. And if you get stuck in that, it's a very hard thing to get out of. I know that as well. <laughs> the achievement I'm most proud of myself are the ones that I just jumped from stupid shit to. I had so much fun that I cleared them. Yeah, like having fun in the end is also like, you know, that's what you're doing this for, right? Okay, well, I'm personally speaking, right? I, I'm like, personally, I think someone showing a lot of perseverance and determination is cooler than, like, I'm not saying objectively that a very determined person is cooler than a very skilled person. That's not really what, like, it, that's, that's something I personally find. Personally, I think it's a lot cooler to see people persevere on difficult things than to see someone being really talented and just breeze through everything. Like, they both have their, their own, like, they're, they're both their own thing. They're b both cool in their own right. And like, if you think you can, you have your own takes on it, of course. True damn secret. That's like a thing I've uh, had as well. Like, back when I started playing Celeste, or like with most games, honestly, I would always see people with like higher skill of it doing difficult things, and I'm like, wow, that looks so cool. Because I remember seeing someone do like a Heart of the Storm Silver, and I'm like, wow. That looks so cool to do a map like that, Deathless. Like, I want to be able to do that. I want to do that. And that just made me more determined to, like, get better and do that. Like, in, in that way, it is a good thing. But at a certain point, it can also become, like, bad. I think my long achievements are my best rather than my hardest one. Yeah. Like, often, like, the things I spent a really long time on are things I'm more proud of than things I did really fast, even though it might have been harder. That That's fair. Like, you know. Being, like, proud of something is, like, being most proud of something is different than, like, your hardest thing. It doesn't have to be your hardest thing, necessarily. Determination previously. I mean, yeah, of course. That like if if someone is like really good, it can breeze through something. That can also just mean they put a lot of hard work and practice into getting that good to get to that point. So to just to just discredit that is like unfair. I get that as well. I'm not trying to do that either. Let's go if someone put like a lot of time in the game to get to the point where they can breeze through something really quickly, that is also really impressive and shows like you know that they're very like determined to like you know get good at the game and play and like you know but when it comes to more like individual achievements it's like someone doing this specific thing really fast and like people a lot of people praise them for beating a specific map really fast compared to someone else doing it like spending a very long time and still beating it in the end i don't know it's like ah there's so much chat message to catch up and help
I didn't buffer jump. Um, there was some message I wanted to respond to, but I didn't see it. Why me? Yeah, I jumped late. I realized. I actually. <laughs> the buffer is weirdly tight. Some don't demo. Ah, uh, the buffer is weirdly tight. Sometimes I don't know. I went early again. Help! I went late. Um. Well, I guess that works out. Doing something quickly is an issue in itself. Yeah, because, like, I mean, like, at some point, I also spent a really long time beating, like, GI maps and stuff like that, you know? Like, most of the people that are really good weren't always that good from the start. Which sometimes it seems to be a thing that some people tend to forget that like you know we're all like good players are also just human like you know all of us also just started at zero or maybe not at zero if you had experience with other platforms before but that's like beside the point well then you basically still started zero though all of us also started at the bottom and like used to be like didn't always used to be this good spend hours on clearing a gm map you know like you know we've all we've also been here Cause it's funny, I got a comment on a really old video of mine on my D-Sides casual playthrough of me playing 1D for the first time. And they said like, wow, it's funny to see you be bad at the game as well for once. <laughs> and I'm like, yeah. <laughs> like, yeah, I guess that's fair. <laughs> They're like, oh, it's interesting to see you like, you know, also be bad. And I'm like, yeah, I, I, I also struggle with D-Sides stuff when... All two grounds, I didn't struggle with it as much as some people might have, because like, I already had a lot of hours in the game by the point that started that. I already got like 2 or 2 and did some speed running and everything. Ah? <laughs> Even as you were too though. Yeah, no, that's fair, honestly. It is it can be a reassuring thing, because like it's like wow all these people are so cute and I'm just here like struggling with this thing that a lot of our people don't seem to be struggling with. But you know. If you look at those players like a couple years ago, or when they were closer to your hour count and see that they also someone struggled with stuff like that, it's like oh I did so much. That, that room is kind of hard to play. You can do- th Yeah, you, you, you can- Like, in the lava core room, uh, you can skip the trigger that sets your dash to not refresh on ground. Because normally the core room is like, you can't refresh your dash on the floor. But if you just stay in the left wall, you can just not hit it, basically. Which Moni definitely made intentionally possible. 
But it's not something that would happen in like a casual playthrough. It's only something that like you would have to know about. Because it's basically the trigger like the way the trigger looks like they um, if I can show it. It's like it's like this basically. There's a one tile on the left here that is just not a trigger. So if you stay in the left wall and climb into the room through the left wall and then stay in the left side, you would just not hit it. Which no no way Moni did it just unintentional, right? Because like there is intention just a tile X right here that's just free. I mean, there's a, bunch, there's a few things like that, to be honest. Moni often likes putting in little skips and tricks for speedruns and stuff like that. With the jelly and hard beating the other DTS in uh, hard thing. I guess, I guess specifically the part of DTS in like plural first room. There's also just a gap in the trigger. Oh, okay. Almost a soft lock? For which room? Serenity. That's interesting. I did not know about that, I think. Oh, wait, there's the one core room that gives you core. Um, I think I know which room it is then. It's the room with the core blocks before the moving dream block one, right? Um, wait. Oh, yeah. Oh, uh, the one with the feather bubbles? Isn't it the one after that has the core trigger? Oh, retry at the end. Oh, right. Uh, she, yeah, the next room is the core one. So if you retry there, you, you do the you end the feather one with core. F oh, interesting. Yeah, which is for the next room. Interesting that it's at the end of the room instead of at the start of the next room then. I would have thought that trigger was at the start of the next room, not the end of the previous room. Oh. I went to f okay. Can I? Can I please help? Uh, thank you. There's a couple ways to do that. There's definitely different ways. Um, you can uh, wall bounce. If you can wall bounce into crystal, you can make it around the block. But even without that, you can make it. You have enough time to make it. There's like two ways to at the start save a climb jump, which is either you can do the wall bounce around the, the pink crystal like I 
Uh, like I, no, like I did. But. but you can even do that from Ratless without what I did, actually. You can do the room breathless without using the transition respawning or the. Well, actually, would you still use the respawn crystal? Actually, we're just about the respawn team. Actually, you just do a wall bounce. So actually, no, you don't. Yeah, you can do breathless without using it respawning. Uh, my throat kind of hurts today, help. Oh, it's kind of dry. I mean, I'm not saying it's just very dry. I surprisingly, I, I had a lot of fun with depression first time, honestly. I did, I did kind of like the darkness gimmick, like, but like I only like the darkness gimmick for casual play, to not deathless stuff specifically. Because like, I think the fun part about the deathless, uh, about the dark thing is like trying to route it casually and being like in a section, being like, okay, the dark is gonna take like this stuff. Uh, so you're just trying to plan it out in your head. Also, just trying to like save yourself with certain sections completely blind. It just feels cool when you're like, oh shit, I gotta do this completely blind now, and you actually like do it, and it's like you feel so cool. We're just doing something without looking. And I had fun doing it the first time though. Like in terms of deathless it's not it's like kinda sucks because like you already have everything routed, it's just waiting. <laughs> now it's just a lot of waiting on the correct cycles. And you're not actually gonna do anything without looking because you know that's risky for no reason. So you don't really get the idea. So both of the appeals only work for casual pleasure. Ignore it, I can start going regardless, but I could see you not. I mean, yeah, th at that point, I think it's just very cool when it actually works out, they actually do it. <laughs> Final thing. I find you kind of have to. There's one part that you kind of have to do blind because you have a lot of gameplay in a row without, like, the break. I should GM not me. Oh, true. True rooms array. Yo. True rooms are going to nice ball. That's good. Like, too dark? Yeah, also kind of, yeah. I mean, I thought it was fun for two trying to write, like, okay, which part is the most reasonable to do without looking? And you just kind of plan it around that. I had fun goldening too dark. I'm trying to, like, come up with guards or stuff.
Also, wait. Our moon cycles are consistent upon room entry, right? Are the dark cycles based on where they were in the previous room? I need to check both these things. Well, I'm pretty sure the moon cycles is correct. I'm sure moon cycles are just correct at the same upon room entry. The darkness effect, I think, does carry over between rooms, actually. Wait. Yeah, it does, right? If it's like there, I can go here, it's still the same spot. Okay, so I can lap the moon cycle previous room. Hold up. Depression 13, moon cycle. Because there's one part I roughly have to react to a moon cycle. Because if after the darkness is at the peak point, I can't do a full jump, I have to wait for it to go down. But if I wait too long, then the darkness is going to be too far in the later section of the room, it's a mess. And it's kind of annoying because like the moon cycle don't line up with the dark consistently. But, like if the dark is based on the previous room, I can just enter the room at a specific point in the dark cycle. And then the moon cycle should always line up with the dark cycle. Global cycles. Okay. Right. So that should work. So that's how Okay. So I can make the dark cycle line up with a. or make the moon cycle line up with a good dark cycle by just entering the room at a specific point in the dark cycle. I always have to figure out what that is. I mean, the thing is, pretty much everything works except the, when the moon bugs at the very top, so finding something shouldn't be very hard. You know, I'm gonna see if I can do trust without using notes, because there's only one room I need to notes for still. So honestly, I'm gonna see if I if I remember how to do it without. Can I do trust like without grabbing my notes? I'm pretty sure I can at this point. I'm going to try. This is a room I would probably die on if so if I would I didn't okay then I should be fine Boy, you broke one of them. <laughs> Oops. <laughs> yeah, I did. I right, see. I don't need them anymore. Guess it would be more safe, but. Uh, music does, yeah, okay, bye. Simpler graphics, that's fair enough. Mm 
bright. Me when I turn on the light mode. Wait, I, I, you know, I did it wrong. I forgot to dream jump because you dream jump the first one, but not the second. I just zoned out and thought for some reason it was the same as the second one. Uh, uh, I improvised it though, it's fine. I improvised it, that worked good. Truck is here. Oh, it is here. Oh, interesting. I don't know why I never noticed that. Did I just forget to hold jump for slow fall? Am I that silly? Did I just forget to hold jump for slow fall? Oops. I did! Uh, oops. minutes for label yeah probably tell money about it and otherwise if you're like scared to contact money or don't know how to contact money you can probably like send me the details and I'll let money know <laughs> I did not have the idea to reach right not even to like practice actually would I have done that once while I was practicing or learning it I feel like I might have found that out I just forgot about it Did you depose power box? Oops. Okay. Um, I think I'm gonna like. As my throat is kind of dry and hurts anyway, I might just try to focus on seeing if I can like do a good summit or Daphos summit or how far I can go Daphos and summit. Ah, okay. All right, that's cool actually. So I might try to focus for a bit, see how good I can do on summit. Though. Sometimes I've had issues in trust with poor states is when I like I have debug. I think. Yeah. 
Hydrate. Ah, that's fair, we're done. Okay. No, 1.5k on voice spoilers. I still feel like I might should look into a strat that doesn't involve tapping onto that ledge. But I don't even know. Actually, I'm gonna write it down to look into, yeah. Because, like, it still somewhat scares me that I, I'm like, yeah, I'll, I'll. I don't know, with nerfs, I don't wanna. Like, I, it will probably be fine, but, like, I don't know. If there is something that doesn't involve that. Hi, Valk. Thank you. Company number six. There's only two rooms, that's surely right. So I just do like the longest, hardest room in 6A. I totally could be silly and tired and die anyway. Please don't though. I'd be kind of ready to move on from this challenge and like, start going for like turrets again or something. I guess I'm not forced to only do the challenge, I can just one day be like, okay, we'll do some turret runs today instead of this. Because with how close I've gotten to like, doing final turret deficit and low death runs at this point. Plus, you know, the one time I literally almost got it. Surely it wouldn't take that long if I like actually went for it, right? Oh, I missed my cycle. Oops. I was looking, trying to look what the song was playing, what the name of the song was. I knew it was Hala, I just wanted to know which one. Except that didn't help the march because the song is literally just called Hollow Knight. Eh? <laughs> How often up to the playlist? Uh, whenever, yeah, something new gets added. And we remember, I suppose. If something is missing, then probably let us know because we just forgot about it. Nope. If it's not there, it's probably not in there. Unless you've specifically heard it on stream, in which case we forgot about it. If you haven't heard it play before, and it's not on the list, it probably isn't there. We haven't like added much new in a while, that's all true. I'm playing number 60, do you was a good idea? No. <laughs> <laughs> no, I don't think that's a good idea. If you, I wouldn't recommend it, unless you just really want to do it yourself, in which case, uh, good luck, <laughs> I guess.
You have even 7 BG to Feral I wouldn't recommend. I would recommend playing mods before doing that. I mean, though, the thing is, like, the gap between 6 CG and 7 BG is relatively not that big compared to 7 BG to Feral Gold. To be honest, I don't think it's that much worse. Like, that's the, the the gap between seven B and Fire Gold is so big that I, I that I would say that the gap between six C and Fire Gold isn't even that much bigger at all, relatively. Because the gap between seven B and Fire Gold is like a few times bigger than going from like one A Gold to seven B Gold. So like in general, I wouldn't recommend jumping to Feral Gold, but <laughs> I don't know. I wouldn't stop you. The real part you should be worried about is Event Horizon and Termination. That was really fun to play. That's okay. I can respect that. You know, <laughs> I can respect the fact. Oh, I just enjoyed the map when I played. Like okay, in that case, what I would recommend doing is keep going for it as long as you're having fun. If you get to the point where you stop having fun or it gets too difficult or you just get annoyed, probably do other things first before coming back. I would say totally give it a try as long as you're having fun. That's what I would recommend in that case. Big good practice with Fire Golden. Uh, there's a small part in my video, in my golden practice video about that, but uh, Glyph is like one I would definitely recommend. Paragold strats? There is, wait, let me just like, okay, hold up. Is it, I hope this is the right command. Is it not? Well, it's not. Okay, wait. Roja has, wait, no, wait, wait, wait. Okay, I mean, wait. Because in the description of this, in the comments of this video, there is a link to a Feral Gold strat server specifically for that is it golden where is there a command that links to this i'm not sure anyway uh i have made a video called where is it how to get better at sus so a lot of people uh, where uh wait wasn't there a pinned comment did vicky like what happened to it wasn't there a pinned comment where's the where's the pinned comment from vicky help <laughs> Vicky, did you add? Did Vicky edit the comment? Because if you edit comments, then they like oh. Hmm. Server. I don't even really find anything. Huh? I don't know. Vicky had a link to a Feral Golden Strat server or Feral Gold Training Club. I think it was called. Anyway, the main Slash Discord also has a Strat channel, which has a lot of Feral stuff. I think Vicky's comment just seems to be gone. I don't know what happened to it. <laughs> You could send the link. Yeah, go for it. If you're in, the, yeah, if you have the link to it, go for it. I suppose. Um, working up to yeah, there's a segment here for working up to Farewell Golden. Uh, the main recommendation I, re I remember is like Glyph. I think Glyph Glyph is a, a bit a one I would like strongly recommend doing between seven B and Farewell Gold. Because Glyph is both a really good map, it's kind of a longer golden, and it's like, not really easy either. This song should not be in place. Oh, maybe. Maybe. Maybe it shouldn't be. 7P is also one if you just like do more summits. Where? Why am I going? I want to go there. The only thing is with 7P is like if you come from 7B, I don't know if someone immediately feels like doing 7B again but harder. <laughs> you know? Like you just completed 7B, it's like, okay, what do we do now to practice Feral Gold? Okay. 7B but again. You know? But like, if you really enter summon, like, go for it. That's a good one. 
Or maybe there's something in between those, I guess. Two, two. The Sand Feet, they get moved to tier 6, right? Well, I guess, yeah, for some people, they would love to do that. Ah, well. There we go. I like how I said I was gonna focus on this summit, and now I'm already getting sidetracked a lot. <laughs> I just can't do it. If I get to 1500, I really shoot though, because 1500 is the part where I can start dying stupidly if I don't actually focus. The first three seconds are chill enough to where I don't necessarily have to. It's a good Farewell style maps you'd recommend as an intermediate golden? AFM? But like. I, I think isn't like I, I think most farewells are like harder than farewell normal. So I guess like you know AFM I would recommend. I don't think there's really any farewell maps easier than farewell. If I'm harder, yeah. Like the thing is, I don't think there is any farewell style maps. That are they have a golden that is easier than normal Pharaoh. Like at least not I can think of at the top of my head. Like AFMC, but it doesn't really count. That map is like a seaside. Yeah, there's things like 19 CFM, but like those aren't really a like they're farewell, but they're not really farewell format, you know. They're not full yeah. But like in the terms of like actual fully like farewell formats of map style, I think most of them are all, all like harder than actual farewell. I can't think of any that are easier. Unless someone in chat maybe knows. AFM is like the closest. I feel like that's like pretty similar. A tiny bit harder. But easier, I don't know. Like, I know like Solaris, AFM. Space Peak are all like low tier 3, but like they're still harder than Farewell. Okay, maybe this is part where I should actually get close. Farewell's popular? Um, <laughs> good question. People just like Farewell a lot. Bye-bye, Wojo. Okay, actually, that's okay. I'm, I'm also gonna finally like lap something in that room because the way that room works is the ending has two different cycles, and depending when you start the room, you can either end up with cycle A or B. Both of them are really easy to react to. I can basically 100% consistently react to either one because the one of them you go in front of it, then you dash right twice. The other one you go behind and you do upright right. But like. It should really be better if I just plan out which one I go for. <laughs> I should really just like go for the same one each time and stop improvising it. So I'm finally gonna take the time to lab it and just pick one and learn how to consistently get the same one because that shouldn't be too bad. I think I know how I would do that. I just need to know which timing to go on. So I'm gonna write that down as well.
There's still a couple things in this run that I'm like... I'm too lazy to lap this because it goes correctly 99.9% .9 of the time. But like really I should just not be lazy and just lap something that goes correctly 100% of the time instead of 99. So like I know it's a bit sketchy because I like semi improvise something or something. I'm like... I really should just look into it to make sure. So I'm gonna write all those down now when I encounter them. Today's the day of stop being lazy. Wait, that's like not the right cycle. What, 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 what? That worked out, but that was not what I normally do. Shoo shot him. Uh, exploration, I think. I think it was the Oshira room. I found one. Oh wait, it's 12 for... Yeah, yeah, I need to not have any things that I'm like slightly unsure about or improvise or react between two cycles. I should just make sure I have this. Like, if I can't lap those things out, I really just should. That was up to smart, so I'll like keep focusing. Check when eight is like up there is one of the least consi lesser consistent ones. Though. If we're talking about exploration, it's eight. Right? It's not the hardest one, but it's like in the top four or top five, maybe. In the top four, top five, at least. I think there's a pretty big gap between the fifth the hardest shackman and the sixth hardest. Like, oh. What? <laughs> How do I just press jump badly? <laughs> Baba, I should focus here. Baba, okay, whatever. Yeah, I just can't focus. I just too ADHD filled today. It's okay. I need more practice on Godam anyway, even if I 
get Deathless up to got him somehow, there's no chance. I, I don't have much chance to got him at the moment. My got him consistency is like not that like, great the last like week. Yeah, it's like memory smarts got um dedication exploration those are the five hardest not in any specific order like i think at this point like smarts is probably harder than memories for me memories used to be the least consistent i think at this point it has become more consistent than sm at least smarts and probably got them as well for now at least smarts and got them are like so much longer and smarts has so many like hard inputs that are so messable I think Smots is definitely like, the hardest least consistent right now. God, I feel like could get consistent again with some more practice. Memories just became really consistent after playing it like a lot. Dedication is just there because of Cloud Room, nothing else. And Exploration has some pretty hard rooms, mainly like Oshira ones are hard, and then some other like tight tech room input. I don't know. Smots is this checkpoint. It's shattered, scattered mirror of the storm. Scattered mirror of the storm. A combination of three hard poems from Vanilla. Just scattered and lost. Uh, Eye of the Storm. And Mirror Magic. So, if you haven't noticed yet, the summit checkpoint names are a combination of the hard poems of the two things. So, like, uh, checkpoint two is uh, 1k plus 1.5k, and the name is Black Karma, which is a reference to. Uh, what is it? Black Moonrise from two. B? Is it 2B? Or is it 2A? I think it's, uh, I think it's 2B. And then, like, uh, the, uh, there was a good karma, which is 3B. And the reason this one has 3A in it as well is because the very first room is still, like, has, like, dust planes and stuff, right? The smart room starts in, like, the second orb room. Where it slowly transitions from, like, dust plane cycles into 2K elements, right? And that's why it still has the part of the 3A poem in there. I should think it is just all the day sets hearts. I think I'm just silly by calling it the B-set hearts. I don't remember. It is to be? Okay, never mind. I'm not silly then. Miss Cadet and Lost is the A-set heart though, right? Because it's because they're in reference to like the music, it's the song skeleton laws. They're all references to like the song names. Although I guess not all of them. Point the point of this machine stick isn't. And this is why I can never focus on these runs because I just keep thinking about the hard problems now instead of the gameplay. Yeah, Goodbye of the Mountain is like Say Goodbye and Heart of the Mountain combined. Sunrise running is Pink Sunrise and No More Running. Revisit is just like, you know, you're revisiting all the chapters, you're revisiting the... Revisiting spots, revisiting the mountain.
final goodbye. It's just, it's just uh, a different way of saying farewell. Well, it's a more, um, it's the word. Bigger way of saying farewell, that's not the word. More dramatic way of saying farewell? I don't know. Suka is good. Like pattern runs. Um, yeah, three segment definitely. I want to do uh, the, the heart beating to end and the entirety of summit segment deathless. And at that point, you know, I'm gonna go from start to summit, but that will be the first segment. But at that point, I'm already doing four runs. And then, like, at that point, I might just do that for a while. And then, if I, like, okay, I'm struggling with this part, I need more practice here, then I'll do that. Maybe in between do like more practice at the ending, because specifically like parsing to end. Do stuff like point of no return to end two or two times in a row, do stuff like uh, parsing to end. Point to end like, I don't know, but twice in a row, but like maybe just multiple times for like two and three times or something, I don't know. But I won't be grinding runs from start until I get final turret and middle turret, I think. So hard beating to end deathless and revisit up to hard beating. Which in terms of progress on those, I have a 2 death summit and a PB in the final checkpoint of it. And final turret I have to be in like the last room. I basically already did it. But... Oh my god. Please, checkpoint 8, parting. That is a banger command though. That's a banger command if it works when it works. Does work. But 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 parsing is not checkpoint aid. Oh 
Oh. Okay. I get it. Well, can we have a version that does give the correct one? <laughs> that would be kind of nice and ironically. Long elevator! Long elevator! Yeah! I was waiting for this day to happen. <laughs> <laughs> Bang it! bangers in a row. Can't believe this. Okay, that's that was smart actually that's really good the one that was the very first screen which isn't even really the 2k section yet it's it's the second orb screen this is practically death of summit uh up to here because <laughs> i mean that that was kind of stupid it was just i was not i was just talking to chat and i just jumped late and walked off an edge that's normally free but anyway Definitely a smart banger. Because that's currently like the least consistent checkpoint for me, the hardest checkpoint to be Deathless. So getting that first hit Deathless in a random casual low death is good.
Oh, okay. I should not go for that anymore. Never mind. I don't even know why I tried to now. Wait. Okay. Okay, this is like really good. Like the one death in the first screen of Smoth is basically nothing. It's practically nothing. So the from Smoth to Gotham.
What? I'm really confused. I don't know what happened. Wait, what? I'm really confused. I'm really confused about that. I'm like 100% certain that's a pixel that works, is the thing. I'm like 100% certain that that pixel works. That doesn't make sense. What? It looks like my right input didn't count here at the first frame. I'm really confused about what that app is. Now, I was holding right and down. Yet it looks like I was going straight up for a second. What? I'm almost willing to say that's just a hardware malfunction, but like I don't I can't say for certain. Well the pixel I was on was this one, right? Was it this one? I made a jump from here before. But like my input display still showed the right thing. Okay, this is the bright picks on the on the edge. Hold on, like, can I pause death tracking? Oh, pause death tracking is wait, death tracking is paused. Oh, that's weird. So, no, I don't. Okay, I'll lap this after the run. Probably, yeah, I'll lap this after the run. I mean, does it really matter? Oh, yeah, I'll do it after. Okay, I'll write it down. That seems like it didn't register a right input for the first couple frames of the jump, even though I was holding right. Okay, that didn't make it. Was it subpixel then? I wasn't this pixel, right? I swear it. Okay, maybe I just forgot the pixel range that's possible or something. I don't know. Hmm. Well, I guess make sure the, you're in the leaning animation before doing these jumps. I guess just to make hundred certain that that's not the issue. I have no clue though. Well, it's still basically a negligible death because either I just forgot the pixel range or was a controller error. Either way, that's not really something that would should be an issue to worry about. But I guess I'm technically I'm not deaf with some spots anymore, so that's the thing I guess. Though it might be after so long that I just forget the pixel range and that that is just a pixel. But I'll lap it specifically after this after this run is finished to see what it was. Do I swear I've made it from my pixel for the back before, but like I don't know, maybe I'm just very wrong. I guess from now just always go into the where the animation changes.
Wish the character name was Alala. Oh, oh. <laughs> Yeah, okay, that was early. I, I realized that was early. I, like, knew that was early. The conveyor flags keeps being cursed, I don't know. For some reason, that's, like, my number... That, okay, this I was just talking. That's not even the right moves. <laughs> For some reason, that conveyor flag keeps killing me. I don't know why. It's always, like, in different ways as well. What am I doing? That's not the right side ball. I mean, the moment I die and I start talking, it just all like I forgot what I'm doing instantly. Great. Alright, that's a good summon up today, I guess. I, I have I have a lot more faith in summon duffels now whenever I go back to that. Especially if I practice Gotham for a bit first. Even though that, that one, that for the start of God didn't really feel like it should count, it still messed with my focus. <laughs> so it's like, this doesn't help that that happened. It's like, okay. I mean, they happen with the random smots plus summers running Deathless. So at this point, I had deathless every summer checkpoint. I just died once at the start of Smarts 1. Have oh, a good night, Kevin. Hi, Jackter, GG Room 1. Wait, wait, I checked earlier today and was your sub gone at like 2.30 or something? <laughs> Oops. I'm sorry. It was funny though. I hope you have a good time with A. I hope you don't randomly get unlucky now because I'm gonna feel bad. <laughs> Wait, why did I climb on twice? I'm so stupid. Oh yeah, dude, the only punch on once, like, ever. Okay, it's fine. So for people lacking context, uh, last night in the Sus Discord, Jector said, if I reach 100 subs on YouTube, I will clear AV in Ascension. So I posted a community post on my YouTube being like, hey, this person said they would clear my map if they got to 100 subs. I think it would be really funny if we all just subscribe to them. And then they went up, then it literally took 5 minutes. <laughs> it took 5 minutes to get Jack to 200, and now they're at like 230 or something. We went a bit past the 100 goal. 
The sun on my feet. Wait, they're nearly at three. That you're 250 now? That's really funny. <laughs> That's really funny. I like how people keep subscribing even though even though they know I we've already passed the goal. They're like, you know, it'll be nice. They see they seem like they're cool beat hard maps, you know. Well like talk to them a sudden. It's kinda wholesome. I, I like I like how someone in the comments of my community post was like, well, heck, they seem like they're really good at the game. I'm surprised they didn't already have a hundred subs. Uh, that was really bad. Why did I do that? Don't fast for that much, please. Baby. There's like a tiny bit of fast for. I checked my Celeste Corp mentions this morning and there were like three jokes being like, Hey Paired, if I get to 100 subs, I'll make you a map. Hey Paired, if I get to 100 subs, I have more than 50 subs. <laughs> so a bunch of people joking about like, Hey Paired, hey, um, uh, if, you, if I get to 100 subs, I, uh, <laughs> and I'm like, oops, I made a mistake. I'm pretty sure all of those were joking, so it's fine. But... I should probably not do that too often because some people will just start doing stuff to get my attention for that and that is. That's not it was just a funny we just we just did a funny we just funny, funny bit of trolling. <laughs> you were at like 75, yeah. You get to me to one billion subscribers at the one I gold. Oh my god. No way. I can't believe this, we need to make this happen. Don't jump that late. Okay. <laughs> In like a few months and then be reminded and do it. <laughs> <laughs> so everything good now, I'm like fine with that. I don't even think I was part of the conversation when you said that, I think, right? I don't remember. I think I just, I was just like, actually no, like, uh, Stacko was complaining about AA, never mind, I was there. I was just like reading over the conversation, I was like, hey, that's funny. Also, at first, I wa it was gonna be a joke. I wasn't actually gonna make community posts at first. I was like, you know, it would be funny, but... And then I was like, you know, actually, it would be funny if I did that. I know, I was late. I was like, haha. Hey, wait, I did something wrong. Yes, yeah, Slacker and the door hate arc. <laughs> I need cassette sound noises.
Oh. I, I just did Oh for chat, yeah chat. Make sure to hydrate if you haven't in a while. Hydration is important, so don't forget. Was that correct? I feel like I did it slightly differently the other times I did that. But I can't confirm if... Okay, you know, maybe that was, It worked out, so I, maybe it was correct. I should practice my new strats more. Or you just miss a neutral there, I guess. You know, that's okay. I was gonna do, give a legitimate attempt to final third duffles because I felt like I had a chance, but you know, gonna mess it up in screen three. Get the rest of this duffels now. I'm gonna like actually like commit arson on like peak blocks, cassette blocks, whatever you wanna like. My brain, my my brain went into Mori Galaxy mode for a second. Uh. Whenever I get summit deathless, if I die in hard beating after that, I'm gonna be kind of disappointed. Cause like getting getting summit deathless sets me up for like a really cool, impressive 90 run. Like I could get like a really big run. Cause like final third is really consistent, and especially like I mean the cassette segments especially are really pretty easy. It's like. Getting here from revisit gives me a good opportunity to do like a really big run. If I just die immediately in the beginning of heartbeat, that would be so sad. This case probably like parting. If I get past parting. Might be in for something.
Hi, hi. I'm doing good. You're doing good as well. This checkpoint blinks. I summon was kind of like making me more awake again. It was kind of exciting, but like this checkpoint is bringing back the sleepy me. Next engine card protocol? Okay, I talked about this start of stream. I actually don't know. It can like die in the room I'm already in, or it can get to like the end. Like I I do not know. I have no expectations. I have no clue. It can be anything, really. It can clear, it can die to the same room again. Like both I see viable outcomes. At least hope that I can at least get to summit. But after uh, I'm gonna go back to attempting to get the map in three segment deathless so I'm gonna try to do the start of the cassette checkpoint to the end of the map deathless and I'm gonna try to do the entire summit segment deathless and I have some more I have another funny challenge plan but that will be for the next 30 days so whenever day 90 happens I think oh wait no wait yeah where's the hyper thing? I mean, that challenge will be more interesting though, than this one to watch on stream at least. But I didn't demo. <laughs> I didn't demo. <laughs> I just straight up didn't demo. Okay, you can't do a crouch climb if you don't demo. That's gonna be a, that's gonna be a tough one. This is what I got for talk. I mean, I wasn't deathless anyways. It doesn't matter. I didn't want to go deathless for the hard beating tree. knows about all the skips in this map. Moni likes having sp uh, skips and speed and stress in their maps, so like, they weren't put in there intendedly, but she intentionally also didn't patch them, because she likes having skips like that. Hiya, Pricker. 
Eight hours of sleep. That's a good idea. You have a good night, Brad. School's kind of, school's kind of gonna be starting again, huh? For a lot of, for a lot of people already have started. Uh, no, this is a different team. This has to do with the battling camera lock. No, I didn't do something. Okay, you can't can go back. Wait. There you go. Whoa. Wait, I don't have a dash! <laughs> Wait, I didn't extend! <laughs> I didn't extend. That's funny. That has not happened before. That's a first. Okay, I extended this time. I was like, hey, blue hair is not correct.
Wait, that was like that was wrong. That was wrong. I. Why did they do a wall bounce there? You should never do a wall bounce there. Did I wait so long with jumping? You see how far I fell down before I just jumped? Why did I do that? That's right. <laughs> yeah, DTS. We can probably go back to playing this music now.
Recon time. Recon time. I should probably get some new water, actually. You know, I'm gonna be her back and grab some water and maybe go to the bathroom before this. So, um, you know. Give me like half a second. I guess I'll be her back. I'm back. Boop. All right, recon, recon time. Uh, hot jump scare. The OBS actually kind of back. Okay, so I thought I hit the ceiling first and then I didn't and then I was like, oh wait, I'm alive. <laughs> yeah, I got someone to make me a uh, skin for that a while ago. I mean, I made the original birth design myself. I just retextured it myself. 
But to make a skin, you have to like retexture every sprite for it individually. And I'm not that good at spriting, so someone offered like, hey, we can work together. Like with your original model, I can like apply that to the other ones. And like someone else just did all the other ones for me. Shout out to Reaver. I think there's a link to it somewhere. I, is it explanation mark skin or something? I don't remember actually, but there's a command to it. Not really. <laughs> Not much of an artist. Is it actually It's not. Parrot skin? Par Burpa? Wait, I think bur I think there's multiple commands that come out to it. This is one of them that goes to it. I think there's one that's like named better that goes to it as well, but um I remember that one does. But I swear there was a one with like a more logical name that also linked to it, but I don't remember honestly. Maybe like parrot skin or um, bird skin or hmm. maybe we should just make the command skin link to it though. Maybe we should make that a command. Room. No, that's checkpoint five, right? Five, I think. Eight is exploration, so one with the sheer rule. <laughs> Mail election decent. <laughs> Shut up. <laughs> <laughs> we all make mistakes sometimes, even the best of us make stupid mistakes. That's not, I do one jelly baited then to then an upright, but I better do that. What is that?
I mean, I can probably elaborate on the on that a bit more because I think my FAQ is just like doesn't really elaborate on it. The main thing is just like ever since seeing change on Braden, uh, the Trials of Death, which is the hardest Mario Maker level, they spent like over five thousand hours on playing. Um, they just inspired me that like one day I want to do like a big grind like that that potentially takes multiple thousand hours and then this just became my favorite slash map and my favorite game so it only made sense that I at some point attempted this or went for this I just really wanted to do that uh, Basically, just I really, I really wanted to do it, and I was inspired by Change on Brain. That's the two things, I guess. I mean, and I knew I wanted to someday do a grind like that, even before being into Celeste. I didn't even know it was going to be a Celeste thing. I thought it was going to be Mario team, probably. You know, then I got into Celeste. Then I discovered about 90, and then everything became clear. We got anything today? <laughs> Getting so long? I don't know. I do feel like it's a testament to what I've done so far in this game with how many people actually believe in me doing this. Like a lot of people when I started this actually also just immediately believe that I would at some point finish this and do it. Like it's been over the time there's been some people saying like oh I'm gonna go for 90 gold, I'm gonna go for 90 deathless, I'm gonna do it. And like not many people like bad and I at it. But then when I said I would do it, a lot of people instantly were like oh one day Parrot will do it, I believe. Parrot will do it. And I feel like that's like says a lot about what I've done so far in this gaming community. That people actually believe in me like that, like immediately. I haven't even started. <laughs> people already believe in me. Yes, yes, okay, I had something in mind initially. There's this, uh, well, uh, basically kind of task only Mario World level called Tubular, a cool, cruel Tubular. The Tubular is the original level, but there's, someone made a drama called Cool, Cruel Tubular. And this was always my favorite task to watch of like any Mario World, like drama. It was my favorite Mario World drama to just watch and watch the task of. And it's, it's like basically on the verge of being like, Technically possible for a human, but like not really reasonable or viable It might honestly like that RTA might honestly like still be harder than this But that was the thing I initially had on my mind was like this Mario World task of a uh, Love on the ROM like someone made What? Okay Sabotan- what would a 90 Sabotan be? If anyone has seen uh, Fruit Dealer, that's part of that. I'll share the video here. It's not valuable because not enough checkpoints. Yeah, that's the main thing. Like, there's a few, few checkpoints throughout it, but like some of the checkpoints are really far apart, and doing that long a segments of this high difficulty Mario is just like not viable. Like, that was the first thing that was on my mind too. I was like, one day maybe. Because, like, none of the movement itself is, like, task only or impossible. There's just really long segments of, like, near task only, which makes it, like, unreasonable. But it means it is technically possible. It's just, like... 
the Amaris 2 for 7 clears, this is huge. Um, it is, safe state practice has become more popular. It didn't used to be a very common thing, but it's kind of become more popular and more common. Because back in the day, a lot of people used to just play in console and flashcards. But there's more and more people that play it on emulator and do use safe state practice here and there. It's still like not as big of a thing as it is in the Celeste community. It's still less common than here in Celeste, but it's becoming like more and more widely used and accepted. I don't think there's a command for it. It's in my Discord, I think. It's, it might be pinned in my Discord. I don't think there's a command to it. Because the thing is, like, explaining funny numbers or when you see it numbers doesn't really make sense because the origin is never really relevant. <laughs> like, it's it, like basically never is the origin to a when you see it number, like, actually, like, makes sense. It never makes sense. Because that's not the reason why it's a funny or when you see it number. It's cause like, there was just a thing that happened with it, and then we started pointing out for fun, for so it was like, hey, that's that number. It wasn't meant to be a lasting thing. And then suddenly more people started copying it, I was like, hey, I also saw it. I was like, oh, hey, 2 for 7. And then I just spiraled out of control and spread like a virus. And now we're like, almost two years later, and it's still a thing. But it's just like Osu 727 and stuff. Like explaining it won't like... The thing is, if I explain the origin, it, it won't make sense suddenly, you know? It won't help you understand it, like even remotely. You'll probably be even more confused. That's the entire reason I don't have a command for it. It's probably because if you put the origin there, it will just make it more confusing because it doesn't make sense. Why did you explain it like it's COVID? <laughs> yeah, old. Well, like October, uh, October 2021. Yeah, October 2021. That's when it originated from. Is he clearing a tone 13? It was like right around the time I like, right around the time I met Izzy even. Like when we started talking. So like old. <laughs>
Hey, final room time. Every end, I forget. I don't even actually know if I know the context to it. Yeah, it was that old. <laughs> it is that old, yeah. <laughs> Would have never, like, is it just like. It was like a tone 13, and it's like two jumps, and we just counted the amount of times you die to the second jump. And like, uh, the unluckiest person died to it like 70 something times, which was me. And then Issy died to it 247 times, which was this ridiculous number and really unlucky. And then it just kind of became a cursed number because the, the day, like right after we started seeing the number in random places, we we're like, oh, there's the cursed two for seven number. And it lasted like a week. And then suddenly other people were like, started copying it and started doing the same. Like, hey, I saw the two for seven cursed number. And even more people started copying those people. And then it appeared in some of my videos and even more people learned about it and started pointing it out. And then I got random Twitter <laughs> I get random Twitter like mentions of like, hey, look, it's a two for seven number, right? And it, most of the people have no clue where it even comes from. But they're like, oh, I see people like pointing out the numbers. I'm gonna do the same. And it just keeps spreading. You know, I kind of like how Final Room is structured the same in balancing as the rest of the map. Like, it has three distinct segments, and they go from hardest to easiest. Just like the main map. The map, the entire map is divisible in like three distinct segments. The first one being the hardest, the middle one after that, and the last the easiest. Final Room is the exact same.
It was a random tot I just had. <laughs> Yeah, the camera in old post box is like really questionable. Moni made it like greatly improved it in 4.0, like really, really, like a lot. The post box is actually good now. Oh, you can hit that from a full jump there? I, I, I had always wondered. You know, I'm getting quite consistent finding a base start. I'm believing more and more and maybe not having a death day. I'm getting more confident at it. Oh, wait, did I forget the song? I did forget. I'll play it. Wait. I did see it and then I just for forgot about it. Because re a recon just doesn't give me a break. Um, ah, it doesn't show up when I type that. Oh. Rain world. Hmm. That's a downpour. Wow, well, I don't see a song that's named that in the OST. Oh god, Rainbow was kind of big OST, I just really thought that. Hmm. I have like most of them, but I don't see it. Although a bunch of these are called just RW underscore 2, RW underscore 3, RW underscore 4, so like. <laughs> Mm. You know, uh, like, like a bunch of these aren't really named properly, so I can't really tell. Oh, wait. In that case, never mind. <laughs> never mind. Hmm. Wasn't it eight thousand one hundred or something? It was. Okay. There you go. I'm telling this was playing the Lindar's music. <laughs> it's fine. It can happen. Is OBS gonna like show this last video again though? Huh? Oh, that took such a long time.
Alex's room, eight to nine minutes. What? Huh? 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 I'm so- wait, what? Huh? 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 I did that tied up not work, wait. Doesn't make sense. Investigation time. Oh wait, I debugged. Uh, it's- whatever, I don't care. That fucks up the- yeah, okay, well, that's whatever. The dark, I mean... Okay, wait. I don't know. What part of that? Oh, there's no wind! <laughs> That works with every moon cycle. That doesn't make sense. Yeah, no, I've tried every cycle for that. That doesn't make sense in terms of dying to it. I had a really high up moon cycle, I think, just now. <laughs> I don't know. This is the second weird unexplainable death in this run so far. That's the one in Gotham as well. No, sub you're inside of you against the wall here. Your sub pictures are the same. Never died to this part with the normal strat, so if anything, I would just go back to doing a normal strat, I guess. It was at the very top of the cycle. No, okay. No, my suspicion isn't even right. No, I was holding full right. Okay. No, I had the slight suspicion that it might have been holding slightly down right, so that it kind of does fast falling. I was holding straight right. That's full right. That's full right. That's not fast fall at all. What? Okay, so it's not my fault, thank god. <laughs> I'm not stupid. I mean, actually, no, that's bad. It, if it was my fault, that was actually better, because it means the strategy didn't work. Hmm. What a command works. Getting dash into wall. That doesn't. <laughs> I don't think that should matter. If you walk. Okay, if you walk into it, you can. Then you basically have the same result. Because there's wind. The wind pushing into wall is the same thing. Like, the subpixels can't even matter. Like, subpixels are. Whatever I do here, subpixels are the same.
Actually, yeah, it does clear it by that little. It does clear it by a very tiny amount. Let's clear by a hand. But like... This I'm on... Okay, yeah, it does clear by a very little bit. But... It hadn't actually ever failed before. Like, look at that. Wait, it, it does. It does consistently clear it, like, no matter what moon cycle. Like. Like, I can't... I have, like, lapped this so much before and I could just not recreate it. I, I could not find a way to die to it. I've not ever seen that before. I jumped. I hit the swing right before it went down again. I had jumping right the entire time. I'm trying to see it failed, the setup failed, so I'm trying to see why it fails. I mean, if you walk into the wall, look, it's always, even the wind, like... Like, yeah, I didn't hold right there, by the way, that was not- oh, shit, I need to get... I didn't hold right there from the start, did I? I did hold right from the start, right? No, way. that was- Hi, QZ! Can you put it 21 once? It's a lot, thank you. Yeah, I was holding right grab. Is it grab? Is it because of grab? Do I normally hold grab here? I don't think I do. Is it grab? Seeing if it's like anything, any way positive could get bad subpixels by doing this. Like, no, I always get 500. Doesn't matter what I do, it's 500 though. Uh, <laughs> yeah, I'm at the second last room 6A right now. I'm not just trying to figure out why, how I died to this setup, what's supposed to be set up. I guess for now I'll just ditch the strat and I'll like have to figure something out later or maybe look into it more later. For now I guess just like that's not worth it because you can apparently die to it. I don't know how. I mean I can technically still do the second part so I can just like not attack this guy though grabbing this. You can still do this part of the technically if you want to. But...
Grass topics without a dash. I am. I was trying. But like. Wait. If I tap left and then grab it like that. That. Is that what I did though? Can this kill me now? Didn't say, still didn't kill me though. <laughs> Yeah, I don't have physics expected because it causes lag on certain maps and stuff. Or on big maps, or, uh, yeah. Nope, that can't even map in it. I didn't even touch the other direction. I just slid into it and then pressed grab a bunch. Wait, you see the block move up? Wait. No, wait, I didn't. That's why I saw something weird. No, I don't know. I have no clue. <laughs> yeah, I don't know. There should be no possible way that can kill you. So I just like. I just like approached it. It got towards the top. I jumped off. Okay, that's too late. I don't know. <laughs> I don't know. I tested it extensively, so I'm testing it extensively again now and it doesn't seem to ever fail. Yeah, I did full jump. There's no way to wait. Surely, <laughs> surely that's not what happened. I think, I'm pretty sure I just hold down all the way there. Yeah, full, uh, jump, jump, jump. Yeah. I just have the right jump and grab. It can't be much simpler to recreate than that, right? So, I jumped, jumped, didn't touch anything, slid into the wall, started grabbing it. I guess I grabbed it before, wait, I think, okay, technically, I grabbed it before I slid into it. Don't know if that matters, though. <gasps> wait, oh, wait, 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 wait. Oh my god, hold up. Uh oh. Wait, okay, hold up, wait, I need to see the rest of the clip though, wait, hold up. Okay, wait. No, I did touch the ball before I grabbed. No, hold up. I did, no, never mind. That, I, I mean, hold up, go back again. So. I did touch the ball for a frame before I grabbed, right? Okay, wait. It's one frame. Yeah, okay, wait. Let me, let's see. That does get 500. If I grab early, it's bad though, but... 
grabbing really is bad, but it didn't look like I grabbed her. <gasps> Don't wait. Hold up. Hold up. Wait, 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 wait. Look at that. Wait. There's no chance that's. <laughs> There's no chance it's that, right? There's absolutely no chance I died by that amount of pixels. There's, there's no way, right? There's no way it's that. I am actually... No, it can't be, because, like, I was, like, I was, like, much farther away from it. That can't be it, because, like, I was much farther away the other times so I tried it. You can't see? Oh. It's like, it's like, hey, but like that can't have caused it because like, I'm much farther away from hitting that than that amount of pixels. Like, look, I'm so much farther away. Well, what if I grabbed really early like that? Does that kill me? Um, hi, Huxa. Thank you for the three month prime. Appreciate it. But can this kill me though? Well, not even that. This death makes no sense. I can't recreate it. Wait, my vertical? Wait, how? Wait, 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 wait. Zero vertical speed? <laughs> what an idea. How do I, how do I manage these things? <gasps> wait, you're right! Wait, you're right! Korea, didn't you die to this something like this once? Wait. You're kidding me. <laughs> you're kidding. <laughs> How even do I recreate that? It was with a dash. Oh. How even? I think it was the slowest thing, yeah. Wait, I need a rat to get on top of it, so I need like a six room jump actually. Wait, how even though? There you go, I got it. Oh my god, dude, you're kidding. You're kidding. Bro. <laughs> How does that happen? Uh, double frame perfect. Fucking incredible. That's... <laughs> Yeah, okay. One in a trillion death. Wow! Really? There's probably double frame perfect plus sub pixels, but we need one, two, three, four, five, six. <laughs> Bro, imagine, imagine the alternate timeline when this happened in a full run. 
there somewhere out there there's an alternate timeline where this happened in the platinum run okay and it took me like a year to get back there's an alternate timeline where that happened i'm telling you i'm t i'm telling you there's an alternate timeline where that happened wow it's oh, it's probably it's probably subbox independent double frame perfect and moon cycle dependent like pro probably Okay, let's see if it like wait, it's a moon cycle dependent. If I go like here, does it still happen? Yeah, okay, no, you're screwed by a large amount. Yeah, I think you're just screwed actually if that happens. I think that's actually just really, really, really bad. Yeah, no, it doesn't ever work. No, it's just completely screwed. It's not moon cycle dependent, this is bad. Oh, okay, the lowest one works, okay. The lowest one works. Okay. The, the, the very lowest one works. How do I manage? Well, thanks. Uh, did Calvin, Calvin notice that? I would not have noticed that in a clip that I just... Was that it? That might have been it. No, it wasn't. That's so precise! <laughs> That's so precise. Oh, I did it there, actually. <laughs> okay, so I guess, I get wait, is down dashing, down dashing fix that? Is, you can pro, is, is, like, if you do that, can you, like, you can down dash, okay. I guess that's what we're doing, we're just like, You know, we, we dash three down as well, I guess. That's so silly. Well, Paul, your strat lives. Well, I do need to replay the, the 10 minute room now, because it didn't clear it for a couple of that. <laughs> uh, dash through the gap, this is normalized. This is more consistent. Uh, it's just better. Like, like I don't have to time anything. I can just hold forward, and it's free. Like, and it sets up the jump afterwards. Like for the jump afterwards, I can just jump, and it lines me perfectly up for the next thing. You can also time the dark cycle. Because for the second dash through the gap, you're otherwise dealing with the dark cycle and the springs, so and you have to dash through the precise thing. Now you can just hold right through the first part, which is free, and then you can set up the other one depending on the dark cycle. You can just time it. Yeah, sure, go for it, Paul. Yeah, they're only part of the video. <laughs> Wait, the dark cycle's still here. Wait, hold up one second. Hold up one second. Actually, so should I try to play it like that? Surely. This is fine, right? No, it disappears. Oh, okay. I can't. Wait, what if that's also the thing that happened in the one bottom section? Was that possible? That might have just been that. Or something I misremembered though. I don't know if you need to win to make that work. Or if you can just do a really precise jump normally and that's possible. Ah. Well, that goes my that would have been my fourth that would have been a four time streak on this room, I'm sad. Done. 
Well, you know, I actually know it's a good thing I discovered it now, because there's totally a <laughs> there's totally an alternate timeline where that why I found that out during a flat run, you know. So I actually, I guess shout out to the happening now and not like when it is actually like more important. This was like the least important place where it could have happened. A random casual loadout that wasn't like it. So actually that's a good thing. And was that at the very end of the room though? <laughs> Yeah, the other one is the best place to discover that. <laughs> True tractor. Honestly, in 2029, we just have AIs do that at that point. You just have an AI go through it. But by, by 2030, we probably have AIs find the like safest strat for every input, you know? Golden will become boring. I just need to hire a bunch of tasters to test stress for me. Actually, this was just like the one. Isn't it? Wait, I think in in FFFCS something like this happened during practice, where I landed on a dream block. Like it was like a flat dream block with downward spacing spikes on top of it, and I like perfectly up dash on top of it, and I could just walk on it, and I was so confused because I could not recreate it by falling into it. But that's the same thing where you just perfectly have the right height to just g glide onto the ledge like that or whatever. Death counter, the death counter is messed up because of debug. We won't we won't anymore know the death count for this run. It says 130 now, which is not really true. That's because loading saves this count as a death. So I guess we are hitting 50k deaths on 90 today. I can see it seems to happen to you quite frequently. It's kind of messed up. You're like bino storage, bino cancel thing that was discovered years later. So one of the craziest things. I feel like I could still make for a good video essay, honestly. That's the last death that went unsolved for, I forgot how many years. Could probably make for a banger video essay. Definitely in bias. That goes into uh, that got, that's gonna go on my list of ideas to maybe someday do. Whereas my list of video ideas, I hear.
Probably, I'll hide Flamo. Oh, this wait, this needs to be added to the, the iceberg, nine the iceberg actually. Someone remind me. Or someone add that as a suggestion. I think if you go to the 90 iceberg, which is pinned to my general channel in my server, I think you can ask suggestions. Can someone do that so I definitely don't forget? I don't know how to describe it, but we'll figure that out. Do you really ship mad that no one ever went frame by frame and copied the image into a task file? That means that would have been discovered years earlier if someone had bothered to do that. You know, I think it's fair that no one thought to do that at the time. Maybe someone should have. But... Space radiation. Five, two and a half years later was discovered. Round two, round two, round two. It didn't fail. Maybe I should try to go on the lowest moon cycle anyway, just so that if it somehow accidentally still happens or something weird is going on, that it would still work. Also, I should just try to aim for the bottom moon cycle because of that now. Even if I dash down. Just dash like 30 times to a corner. Yeah, so I guess we're dashing 30 times to the corner and aiming for the Mario world. Except I'm gonna have to mute it because like the... Cause poem room, cause poem room music is great. Uh... Checkpoint command, checkpoint command is banging. This is the quote A A A P I A I P. Oh wait, A A P I G. That took me like six years to pronounce. Wait, is it just checkpoint eight? That was not it. <laughs> is this space? Oh, okay. That makes sense actually. Because it's the same thing as the quotes. You know, I'm counting that as a five streak and find a goodbye, I don't care. <laughs> you know, that was basically a five streak and find a goodbye.
Can I? Oh. Okay, after a slight delay, we made it though. <laughs> after a slight delay, there you go. This run should have finished a while ago, but we got uh, slightly hung up on the whatever the heck happened to here. Sport table? This room? Yeah. Technically. Oh, wait, you can do action Asia mark. Oh, because it gets eight, right? That's neat. First try, five tile. Oh, that was bad. Oh. Well, it just, maybe I should at least stay crouched. That would help. Oh. There you go. Do, do, do. I have no idea what the death count that would have been. I think it was like 30 ish or like high 20. I forget. Hi, Alice. Thank you. We also think it. Platrooms? I don't have time for that anymore today. <laughs> maybe maybe after 90%. I got I get to. Ah! 50k dabs! Woo! Woo, hit the 50k. Okay. Um, God, I just realized I need to play 6A now. <laughs> I realized I need to play 6A now. Um, 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 um. I am a little scared at the STC. I've been AFK in the Lumbo for the past four hours. <laughs> okay. I. Trillius room from respawn isn't that bad. Just don't overthink it, Parrot. Just don't overthink it. Just literally do like the normal thing. Chat, I'm gonna die. <laughs> okay. Wait, uh, let me disable the. Wait, I, since we're in a boss fight, wait, let me disable the overlay that's. Uh, the, 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 you know, consistency tracker overlay, thank you. I need to disable that real quick. There we go, okay, now we're good to go. <laughs> now we're good to go. Boop. Hello, day. Okay. 
<laughs> we got another 6 eight, it's fine. We're good. You know, not close at all. I don't know what you're talking about. I know what we were worried about. That's completely fine. You know. Definitely nothing to be concerned about. Okay. At long last! We made it to summit! Okay, you know, it's taken a bit, uh, eight streams, but we <laughs> made it to summit. Okay. Also, yeah, all the deaths are duplicated because of saving, quitting, counting as a death. So, like, a half all of them. Well, actually, minus two on reflection. Reflection should be eight. I'll save if I'll edit that correctly at the end, because, like, saving, quit, count as a death, so it's like, why? Anyway, let's go. Um, you know, that's fine. Okay, that, we got through zero meter. I'm most afraid of 1500. 1500 is really scaring me. Okay. Back to focusing. Directed. What do you mean I read? I was so focused on the next input. Why can I die in an interesting way? Like I knew like 1500 is hard, but can you at least die like not to death? <laughs> Come on. I was I was so scared of like you know the thing at the input after is actually scary because you have to tingle down, you do two dashes and then you corner crack on the next one. That part is scary. I was so focused on that input. That I just like, you know. Bang and redirect. Come on, that's like as equally lame as a death as the last one. Well, I I guess I did. I am a, a 1500 Wahoo. Can I die an interesting way? Oops, all 90. Come on. Let's focus on that input, because that one's scary. I was scared of like this room, this one or the next one I would have been scared of. 
Not that good. Not that input. Well, we're closer to the end, though. Surely one or two more, one or two more streams, and we'll die, right? Surely I won't die too many more times in the rest of the summit. What am I doing? These are not the strats. Surely doesn't take more than one or two more sessions with this, right? Surely. Surely. <laughs> Surely. Anyway. Um. I guess we'll go through the list of notes I made on the run of, wh of what to uh, lab for 90. Guess we'll go through those real quick. Cute speedrun strats. Okay. I messed up like half the strats there and I just improvised something. <laughs> but at least some... Yeah, okay, parts of it I did kind of just forget. Maybe I should practice it sometime. But it'd be funnier if I actually... I don't think it would be funny. <laughs> anyway, uh, I was like four things. I wrote down like four things to look into. Oh. Damn. You're close though. Okay, depression, depression, 13 moon cycle. Right. We're lobbing depression, 13 moon cycle, I guess, first. That, that's the wrong one. Room renaming. Uh, I'm gonna do that now as well. I'm gonna go through these strats first and then I'm gonna do some room renaming because that's also on the list that I haven't done in a bit. Okay, so I need to start entering this next room on a specific part of the dark cycle. What if I just go right after becoming visible? I'm gonna ask something. What if I do like that? Um, hmm. what if I do it when it goes off screen? Like off screen. So basically, what I want is I want this right block to not be at the out at the bottom or like in the middle when this disappears and not at the top. Okay, that's like bad. It was pretty high up. I don't want that. What if I do it when it comes on screen instead? Oh, right as it touches me, maybe like. There. Oh, hi, Viddy. Oh, that's good. Now it's low. Okay, that's 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 it. Hi, hey, Viddy. How was how was DMR? Thanks for the good luck. So it's like as it touches your head. There you go. Yeah, okay. That makes a good moon cycle. Team was pretty bad. That's your last input check for final. Everything else was awful. Dang. That's unfortunate. Well, I guess the worst days exist. Uh, this earlier trade, they got a checkpoint 5. Although that also died really sad with the 5 jumping. Better luck tomorrow, true. Is that with a game controller? Maybe. I've never before. I don't really like the shoulder buttons on this, though. The colon three mode. Well, you type just you just type colon three. You just people will actually murder me if I add an emote under that. People will actually kill me if they try to type colon three and it will show up as an emote. Like I will actually get stabbed. <laughs> I will actually get pipe bombs mailed to my house if I add an emote under colon three. <laughs> yeah, that. Okay. Uh, revisit fifteen. A video. I had a really funny death at the end of Final Goodbye Room earlier. Um, um, I did this. I, I, <laughs> I like perfectly jumped on the edge that it didn't reset my vertical subpixels. So like, I forget what it was, what what the, what Calvin called it, but like, I just jumped the perfect height to where it did like it didn't reset my subpixels jumping up the ledge. So I had like 0.2 something subpixels, like vertical subpixels. 
and I died because of that at like the very end of Final Goodbye and I was actually sad. But I'm happy that I figured that out now because there's totally an alternate universe where I found that out in like a platinum run. So, you know, I guess. Oh, it landed with zero vertical speed. There you go. Yeah, okay. I landed on the ledge with zero vertical speed and it didn't reset vertical stop pixels. Okay, I want to see if there's a way to do this room without jumping on the ledge here. Because normally I do. Oh. No, you know what I do is I like do this. They get my dash back by doing that. But jumping on a little ledge is kind of scary. So I was like, is there a way you don't have to do that? Well, and I guess it's a wall bounce, but that doesn't seem less scary, to be honest. Um. What about, about a neutral though? Like, oh, this is fine. Six up jump up two tiles. Yep, that's what it was. It was that, that's exactly it was two tiles and it was a six room jump. They would climb with the ground after like 15 minutes. That's so dumb. <laughs> that's so dumb. Yeah, that's exactly what I did. It's, yeah. Great. I did not think about that at all as a possibility. Well, I think the other option, the only other option is a wall bounce, which I don't know. It's easier than, like, how many frame tap can I do? One, two, three, four, five. Oh, you can do like a five frame tap but you live. Okay, never mind. Well, the, 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 actually, the more likely option is doing, like, a one-frame tap. Oh, with bad sub-pixels. Wait. Actually, if you slide into the wall... Does a one-frame tap always make it on? No, right? No. It's only if you're really close to it. Does it work with these? No, because it's, like, a one... Because it's one... Yeah, okay. It moves... Wait. Sixteen, right? That was it. Got the number, blank on the number. So yeah, I think the more like thing is keep doing one frame taps here without actually landing on top here and running out of stamina. I think it's the biggest risk here. You can grab the I mean the I mean the wall what if you're like too far left though? What if that's the issue? And you hit the thing. And you bonk or something. I mean, that's another variable to I have to react to. But you definitely don't want to do that. That won't even help. But you can grab there. I don't think that helps though. <laughs> I think this is the safest way to do it, honestly. Enjoy breakfast. I think it's fine. Um, BK13 cycle, right? Right, it's the, it's the cycle that has two outcomes and I normally just react to each one, but I should find something that just like, always like, is the same. Well, that's not very cool. Okay, so it goes down, up, down, up, down, up. Down twice, down three times. Down four times. Wait. I just need to pick one to go on. So once, twice, three. What if I go after the third one? One, two, three. And then go after that one. 
I don't really think that one is easy, much easier than the other. I think they're pretty similar. I just need to like pick one so it's consistent. I should probably have gotten rid of the subpixel display. I think that's a scarier one because you can be low and hit the ledge. I think I'd rather have the other one. One da down once, down twice, three, four, and then go. So now it should give me the other one. Which I think I like a little more. Yeah, it's that one. Yeah, I, th I think that's chill. Okay, so we you wait for it to go down four times and there you go. One. Two. Three. Four. Then go. And four should be an easy to remember number, because, um, yeah. I just need to think of Autumn saying how many cycles? And then I'll remember. Um, Gotham one. Oh, the weird death that I didn't understand. Right. Uh, okay, the weird death that I didn't feel like should have happened because the lineup I thought was fine. Oh wait, no, I actually I do wait. I do normally go for ledge. I, my master just told me to go until Madeline starts like changing her animation. I think I just blanked on what I was supposed to do actually. I wasn't this pixel right. Well, just make it here. But that might be something. So, oh, that's wrong. Oh. Yeah. Okay. I think I just blanked. Oh, okay, I just blanked on the lineup. From three to one. Okay. That works. Okay, it's like a, it's like a forty percent chance of that not working. We should always just go until Mal and such doing this and then do it. Which I my muscle memory instantly told me to do that, but for some reason in the run earlier it didn't. I guess. Which is weird. It just told me to go to the ledge, and I was like, that's about the ledge, right? And I just did that. Okay. So I guess then that's that's about everything for today. I think I'm good then. Actually, I did smarts deathless, right? Should we do times two times of smarts? Because I still don't have smarts twice in a row deathless. Oh, room renaming. Oh wait, I guess we're doing that first. Actually, I already forgot about that again. Okay. Right. I I was like there was something that I'm forgetting. That was like there's something I'm forgetting to do. I swear there was more things to do. I remembered. Also, I'll bring back music. Actually, no, do keep that pause. Okay, how many room names are in queue? Seven of them. Oh wait, I already did that one, isn't it? You sure did sulfate. Yeah. Did it? I didn't do. Pissful. <laughs> okay, there's six of them. PS2 becomes pissful. Who did this? Who renamed the room pissful? Actually, I very well know who that is. It says it right there, but. Oh, we're we'll renaming Peaceful Summies. So, okay, you know, actually. Fine then. Uh, which key did I have it bound to? Is it this one? It was that one. Me too. Although I think it did like the current one we have for that room, but that's fine. 
Um, three, nine. Oh, wait, huh? I guess I'll share the full screen for this. So you can see the stuff I'm doing. Okay, so that's that one. BO4, TL2, BK6, BO16, BO17, ME2. Hi Santi, what's up, welcome. Okay, all of these are like far from here. The next one is this is ME2. Oh, actually, no, I thought this was, it was I remember I for war. But it seems to not be that? What? I swear it was I remember and I for war. Did I like never do that then or something? It was supposed to be that, wait. Okay, well in that case actually. Okay, well in that case they got scammed, so actually then I'll renew theirs. Because then I guess we just never did theirs. So then that gets priority in that case because I forgot about that. Oops, I'm sorry. In that case this isn't... Uh... Because I'm sorry to the person who just requested to meet you one. You have to wait a bit longer in that case. Because I apparently never renamed that one properly. Um B04 TL BK BK is the next one. The first English that says my name correctly. Yo, normally I'm not good at pronunciation. <laughs> BK6 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 This one's oh this one's shadow side. Okay, that's kinda silly. This room is not named Shatter Side. Um where is it? It was named by the person that made Shatter Sides. That makes sense actually. Ah no, wait. Okay. Assign that today. Yeah, so I, actually, anyone that didn't really know about this yet, I have a channel pointer board that lets you rename a room in 90, and it will show up like that in game for uh, at least a week, and then someone could steal it. But it doesn't happen that often. Someone snipes stuff, so if you want to rename any room in a map, you can do that using channel points. TL2 is the next one. Catcham incoming. Didn't wasn't already a room around that it was Catcham. Oh yeah, PL9 is Catcham. But why why did they name this one Catcham incoming? Doesn't make sense because it already started there though, didn't it? Anyway. I'm just here to rename what child wanted to do. I'm just here to, to, to do the request, I suppose. Is the way does that fit the character actually? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, it perfectly fits, okay. Okay. TL2 is further in, it's up here, this one. There we go. Uh, the rest is all bottomless rooms. B04, 16, and 17. So they're all nice close together, that's cool. Wait, is it high aurora? Is that the room after or before? Okay, this aurora was here and this one's high aurora. Okay, that's kind of funny actually. <laughs> I approve of this one. Ow? Y'all for it. To what did you rename it? It's not in the list. Look, it's not me. Uh, P04. F 
Farewell. The song is called Farewell. No way. Uh, check the FAQ, yeah. It's in FAQ, as it, it's explained. PO16 is Jumper? Oh, no, I mean, I banned renaming rooms to, 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 um, what, what was the original one? Pummies, yeah. The Pummies joke was getting really annoying, so I just told people to no longer, I'm not gonna, no longer gonna accept the renaming rooms to that kind of, to those jokes, because they're annoying. Yeah, I just refined it, because I'm no longer renaming Pummies jokes. That may be why then. BO17. This parrot jump. That that one's kind of cute actually. I like kind of like that one for like the entire jumping section. Parrot jump is a good one. Yeah, yeah I did get your points back. I did give your points back, of course. Good luck in the Lumbo final. There you go, parrot jump. Uh. Four hundred seven and a half hours. How many rooms have we have renamed them? We're at one hundred forty four to three twenty two. We're getting one day, one day, one day. As we will fill up every room, right? Okay. Okay, uh, there was a marbles for team though, so we're, there was a marbles prediction, so we're doing marbles and then we'll end stream. Uh, it's, it's because of the, it's like the, it fits with the rest of the final room names, right? Since it's shoutouts to people, it's shoutouts to Twitch chat, friends, and then Moni who made the map. And this is just everyone that works at Act. I guess it kind of makes sense. It fits with the rest of it. Kind of odd. I mean, that's up to you, you know. Catbus arrives is still there. I'm surprised Catbus arrives is still there, actually. Oh, wait, you took it back. Never mind. I remember. I remember you took it back. Yeah, it's kind of like... There's not much room. <laughs> Cut those leaves. Okay, I did already exit out of the map, so I will save those in the queue for next time. I like how Hazard took away Catbus arrives. So Catbus leaves again, <laughs> no longer makes sense again now because Catbus arrives is gone, so Catbus leaves is alone. We had, both we did it at the same time. Why? <laughs> Rave, ra ra Rave, Wrecking, Wormhole, okay. In one week. <laughs> well, at least one week from when I actually rename it, since I already exited the map and game, so I'll save it for it next time. Which will probably be in two days. Not tomorrow, but the day after.
plan streaming till after the marble space. Then I'm gonna end. Oh, so yeah, uh, I, I guess I didn't announce the marble space. We're doing marble space. Um, if you're in chat, you can anyone can join. You just have to type explanation with play. All I should probably get back up again. Ah. <laughs> I ask her. I like this running joke. The BO345. Wait, I need to move my cam. There you go. Alright. Dra Dra Draco me with me? All cubes right behind one Joe. Oh. I think Wonjo might take lead now. Wonjo and Paul are now in lead. No one else really close behind that. All Paul taking lead now. Oh. That's a decent bit of the map left. Though. This map is also dangerous. A lot of people already died. Oh, almost half the people are already dead. Though. Paul getting kind of stuck here. Prawn taking lead now because of it. Uh, I see a bunch of explosives and scary things here, though, so... Prawn seems to be getting to it fine, though. That looks terrifying. Okay, they survived that. Paul also survived that. Paul falls off, unfortunately. Tried to catch up, failed. Prawn seems to have a pretty comfy leap now. Seems to be getting towards the end. Is it like a pachinko and the ball left? Um, there's two, three. Is it two people in here? Prawn seems to be the first out. Sai and Dizzy Gaming also getting out of it though. They're kind of tight neck and neck though. Who's the first? Dragon Swim. There's a bunch of people here now. Cyan getting to first. Oh, wait, they just went over the pachinko. What the heck? I think Cyan wins now. GG. Wait, you don't go in the pachinko? What oh, that? What is that? The setup doesn't work. No. Hey, yeah, GG. Mm. Bang, bang, and bad. Anyways. Oh, so you, you voted pink? So I'm gonna assume it's pink win then, right? Since you voted for pink. The winner gets to decide who wins the predi with, with the prediction. Pink, yeah, that makes sense. Okay. Gotcha. GG. Oh, I miss who won the most points. Slash, I got a bunch though. I saw that. The crucifix though. They were like, they finished second. Kriok, no! <laughs> Hazard, no! Okay. GG, race all. That will be end of stream, though. I'm getting really tired. I'm, I am I have not much energy left, so... Um, <laughs> we gotta find someone to raid. There is a Rick. September, true September, up to 30% off subs. I forget that's a thing. I guess it's, I mean, actually 25% off is like not a bad deal to be fair. I was gonna say it's not too big of a difference, but actually that's like kind of nice. If you're someone that like subs already, that's just neat. Um, Just 
the name is actually let's them. Have I ever I their name is familiar? Have I ever rated them before? I feel like I have. I have. Advanced hard side? No, this is just uh, this is just uh, the map itself. Okay. I cannot see a rose message out. Anyway, thank you for hanging out, everyone. That was a nice stream. See y'all again tomorrow. Hope you have a great day. Hope you have a good night. See y'all later. Bye bye bye.